So off to France we go then, Saint Clou for the Grand Criterium de Saint Clou. It's the first big two year old race of the week, first big group one of the week as well. It's a 10 furlong event. This one chain wins a lot for David Robertson's at the top. Ponto Rasso, Darren Thompson, Seattle Caprice, Vinnie Gerard, Artie Social, Dan Hughes, Clipthorne Rosegin, CDJ Liggett, Daisy Master for Stu Gray, Deception Craig Beckwith, Empress Eileen, Padre Hogan, and Sweet Tooth for Joshua Sutherland. So nine of them then in this and ready to go and away they go a little bit slow out the back was Seattle Caprice but Punto Rasso the early leader but nothing seems all that keen to go on and we've virtually got the whole field with the exception of Seattle Caprice in a line and now Daisy Master has come through to take it up so Daisy Master and then Stu Gray leading the group one field from Sweet Tooth in second then comes Deception in third Chain wins a lot is next then Artie Social after that one and then Empress Eileen and Punto Rosso widest on the track but Seattle Caprice is still the back market but Daisy Master still the leader inside the final mile with Sweet Tooth two lengths back in second then Punto Rosso wide on the track is third Empress Island is next then Chain wins a lot on that one's outside and it's inside is Artie Social Deception's got the rail and then the back to Clipthorne Rosegen and Seattle Caprice who's now looking to get a run up the inside and will do well to get through there Jockey's taking a bit of a brave route but it's Daisy Master that leads by a good two and a half lengths to Punto Rosso widest on the track who's just showing second ahead of Sweet Tooth then Chain wins a lot and Empress Eileen anti-social and the Seattle Caprice has got that run through and needs to take advantage of it now before it gets cut off again but Daisy Master is still two lengths clear of Punto Rosso and Sweet Tooth Chain wins a lot is next then Empress Eileen Deception is next and then Auntie Social and Seattle Caprice didn't have the speed to go through that gap when it was there and it might start to close up again now Clipthorn Rosegen just the back marker but it's still Daisy Master who's in the lead racing down towards the final three furlongs in now and Daisy Master is still a couple of lengths clear of Punto Rosso and Sweet Tooth here comes Chain wins a lot switching to the outside Auntie Social is now coming on with the run with the jockey on the lead around a little look round then to see where they were two furlongs to go and Daisy Master is still in front from Chain wins a lot in second then comes Empress Eileen Auntie Social Ponto Russo is next they're coming down towards the final furlong the jockey on the lead around another little look round but he's beginning to tie off it's Daisy Master in the lead now pressed by Chain wins a lot Chain wins a lot takes it off for Empress Eileen Empress Eileen Chain wins a lot closest to us Auntie Social is going to be ahead probably as they race up towards the line it's Empress Eileen and Auntie Social Auntie Social on the near side, Ponto Rosso finishing quickly, but Auntie Social, I think, held on. Ponto Rosso coming with a wet sail at the end, and it's pretty close. And Empress Island is in the mix as well. well it looks like Auntie Social's got it. Indeed, it has Auntie Social. Takes it for Dan Hughes, Empress Eileen for Patrick Hogan was second, Punto Rasso for Darren Thompson was third, Chain Winslot for David Robertson fourth, and Sweet Tooth for Joshua Sutherland was fifth.